Hey guys, I have got a Kenmore washer and I've got the little pieces off here, just going to touch those up. But I wanted to show you as I'm testing it here that it's in excellent condition, it works great. We're going to do a little touch up on the cosmetic part, but right now it's filling up with water. Got a really heavy jeans and towel load in there, so I want you to see that it is bringing the water in like it's supposed to. And as we progress through the cycle, I'll let you listen to it agitate and then we'll hit the final spin cycle and you can hear it full speed, spinning, see that it's nice and level and all that. So, um, purpose of this video is as if you were standing here yourself testing it, you want to make sure when you get it home, plug it in, it's going to work good. So I just do these videos as a way to show you that. That's how I like to spend my money. So we'll give this just a sec here and then we'll finish up by showing you the dryer. It actually just kicked in there, so see it agitating, just getting started there. Excellent job with the agitation. The lid switch has been bypassed on this, so there is no switch here. So at any point in time you lift this up, it's going to keep doing its thing. That's one thing to note. Otherwise, it has perfect operation. So we'll let it go through its cycle there and then I'll show you that, like I said, the pump works and we'll listen to that spin. Alright, and here we go into that final spin cycle now. As you can hear, it's nice and smooth. I'll show you that it is spinning nice and fast. Nice, smooth, quiet operation. And there again, you'd never open this during the spin cycle. My supplier for the lid switches is out on back order, but I'm not gonna wait around two weeks to go ahead and get this listed up for somebody um, to buy. So, full disclosure there on the lid switch. Otherwise, this thing is in perfect condition, works great. So we'll get that dryer over here and move those clothes over and show you that dryer. Okay, I've got a Whirlpool electric dryer, and I've got those clothes moved over. We're just gonna set it here on time dry. Hit go on our switch. Gonna get a little touch up on this one as well. See the handle's got a little discoloration there, so I always touch all that up, and you'll see that in the pictures too, which will follow this video. But you can hear it sounds great. Nice smooth operation. And then a little red light will give you the surface temperature or whatever you shoot it on. So we're going to shoot it right in here with that heating element tube. See plenty of heat coming out of there. And then the inside of your dryer will get anywhere from 105 all the way up to 195 when it's running nice and hot, also depending on what you have your setting on here for heat. So, well that about does it. Now you know, when you get them home, plug it in, everything's gonna work like it's supposed to. I do appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I try to keep them short. If you have any questions, uh, reach out, let us know. Otherwise, thanks, have a great day.